kind do you want to be? And more importantly, who do you want to be your lawyer? Choose Jacoby and Myers. Justice for you since 1972. All this week on Morning in America, heading east and west, day and night. Truck drivers are the unseen heroes that keep our country running. Morning in America is dedicating a full week to the men and women behind the wheel. All right, ready? Whether they're carrying food or hauling livestock, truck drivers have stories to tell and places to go. All this week, 6, 5 Central on Morning in America, only on News Nation. Your chance to see Mana at Yamaba. Watch for the code word to win four tickets and a $200 resort credit tomorrow at 8 a.m. The Office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. Now at 5, a historic move on Capitol Hill. The House votes to oust Republican Representative Kevin McCarthy as Speaker. We are live with what comes next. Care for Kaiser Permanente patients hangs in the balance. Tens of thousands of health care workers plan to hit the picket lines tomorrow. How it could impact you. And gunshots erupt in Anaheim. Police shoot and kill a man at a gas station. The investigation into what led up to the deadly gunfire right now on the KTLA 5 News at 5. You're watching the KTLA News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. We want to get right to our top story at this hour. History on Capitol Hill. After divided House Republicans forced the removal of Kevin McCarthy as House Speaker. The first vote of its kind in U.S. history throws the House and its fractured Republican leadership in turmoil. And everyone's asking who will replace him. KTLA 5's John Finolio is live in our news center tracking the latest developments. John. Sheriff Pedro, Speaker McCarthy left the chamber not commenting to reporters, but just moments ago gave his first remarks since the vote to oust him. Have a listen. I believe I can continue to fight, maybe in a different manner. I will not run for speaker again. I'll have the conference pick somebody else. I hope you realize that every day I did the job, regardless whether you underestimated me or not, I wanted to do it with a smile. All right, and there you have it. Mr. McCarthy will not seek re-election. Eight Republicans joined Democrats voting 216 to 210 to oust him. And now we are getting a better idea of who will replace former Speaker McCarthy. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. For the first time in U.S. history, members of Congress have pushed out the Speaker of the House. California Congressman Kevin McCarthy removed Tuesday afternoon after enough Republicans sided with Democrats on a motion to vacate brought by Florida Republican Matt Gates. I don't think voting against Kevin McCarthy is chaos. I think $33 trillion in debt is chaos. The vote came after an hour of fierce debate. I think the Speaker has kept his word. So I'm very proud of this Speaker. I'm very proud to stand behind him. There's nothing selfish about wanting a Speaker of the House who tells the truth. With the Speaker removed, all business in the lower chamber must stop until a new Speaker is selected. The House will be paralyzed. an enormous number of concessions and he allowed one person to bring this vote to oust him he told a lot of people a lot of things and he just wasn't able to make good on all of those promises he upset the right flank of his caucus by making a deal to keep the government open that involved democrats and i think that it was kind of a matter of time until speaker mccarthy just lost the caucus. All right, North Carolina Representative Patrick McHenry will assume the temporary role of acting speaker and will oversee the election of a new speaker. Now, all of this, of course, coming at a critical time. Congress has only about 40 days to pass a spending bill to avert a government shutdown again. Now, coming up at 6, I'll have more on this historic and chaotic day on Capitol Hill plus reaction. We're live in the News Center. I'm John Finolio. Sheriff Pedro, back to you.
All right, John, thank you. Political history is also being made today in, th in the Senate where Democrat LaFonza Butler is sworn in to fill the remaining term of the late D Senator Dianne Feinstein. Butler is the only black woman currently serving in the Senate and the first openly LGBTQ person ever to represent California in the chamber. KTLA Sandra Mitchell joins us live with the updates. Sandy. LaFonza Butler describing the last few days as a whirlwind. Until a few days ago, most people did not know anything about Butler, but now she is officially the newest senator from California. Is your right hand and repeat after me. 30 seconds on the Senate floor. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend 